Hi, I'm Cherie. And I'm Chris. And we're with the RV Mobile Internet Resource Center. Today we are going to talk to you about finding coverage when you're out and about on the road. So many of us travelers rely on cellular data to keep connected, but it can be a struggle sometimes to try to predict just where you're going to be able to find good cellular signal, especially when you have to make reservations in advance before heading out to yeah, somewhere. So, so you're, you're, you're going west. Do you go northwest, southwest? Where are you going to get the better signal? Because you know we're the kind of people who, when we travel, we don't want to rough it. We want good, fast, reliable internet. That's more <laughs> essential than anything. And signals can vary so much, even from one RV park to the next, or even from like one state park or one region of an area. Right. So, so here's some tips and tricks of how you can best predict what your cellular coverage some is going to be. Research in advance. So here's how you do your homework. So the first thing to do is, of course, check your cellular carrier's coverage maps. They all have them online. The, their, their online interfaces are a bit awkward to use, but you can usually type in an address or a town, and it will give you a map that shows you that area. And don't be afraid to zoom in. These are very optimistic maps coming from the carriers, but They're they will. Marketing. <laughs> but they will give you, particularly the closer you zoom in, they'll give you a good sense of are they covering this territory? Is this partner territory, or do they not have anything in that area at all? So. That's a good thing, but you do have to be online, of course, to be able to get to their coverage maps, and most of their maps only work well on a desktop or laptop. Sometimes yeah, viewing on a them- On phone, horrible. Sometimes their interfaces aren't so great for phones. All right, next step is review sites. Um, many campground review sites, uh, people, m we're not the only ones, you're not the only ones who rely on mobile internet, so most campers are now leaving notes about the sort of cellular coverage that they received at a certain location. Right. And pay more attention to when people talk about the speeds they saw and not just the bars though, because I'd much rather have a fast one bar signal than a slow five bar signal. One site in particular that we like is Campendium. They specifically ask their reviewers to rate the signal for each of the major carriers. But like I said, also see if they noted I was able to stream Netflix is a lot more important than I was able to place a call or check my email. Right. So that can make a big difference for those of us that have higher bandwidth and, needs. And also pay attention to how old and dated the reviews are because a place that had horrible coverage just a year ago might have great coverage now. So things do change pretty rapidly in the cellular world. All right, next option is using some of the crowdsource coverage map apps. And these are uh, things like by Sensorly, Open, open signal, signal and root metrics. And those are the big three. They all have apps that as you travel around, they're constantly doing speed tests and um, doing signal analysis. And then they're building up a map in the back end that shows where real people have gotten connected. Which great is great. resource because it, it's real user data that's collected by a device that's measuring real things. But if you use any of these apps, all three of them suffer the same problem of they only have data where people have actually been. And so you'll see little snail trails on the map going here and there, and there might be 50 or 100 mile chunks of territory with no reports at all. And again, they also suffer from reports being out of date. So somebody might go across country and have a horrible experience, but if you dig down, well, that data might be from 2013. So. so as a traveler who is going to places that are probably not in the core central places where these apps have a lot of user base collecting data, i.e. you're going to state parks, national parks, you're going back roads, you're not necessarily on interstates, those apps are, will probably not have as much value to you for those sorts of locations. Now, if you're trying to pick a campground in a big city, that might actually really help. But if you're trying to pick which state park to go to mm -hmm. or Army Corps of Engineer Park, right. probably not as useful. Yeah, it's all too often I'll pull them up and the entire town shows no coverage from that's a particular carrier. <laughs> and that's not true at all. And the last option, and I'm gonna say we're a little biased on a this bit. one because we wrote an app for that. Seven years ago. <laughs> we launched an app called Coverage. And what it does is we take our interpretations of the carrier's coverage maps and overlay them on a map on your smartphone or tablet device. And the, the great thing about this is the maps are offline. They're not as high resolution as you get going straight to the carrier and zooming in forever, but they give you a really great high level overview of can I get coverage? Is the carrier supporting this area, this town, this, this national forest? Um, is there signal in the air over my head right now? And it does get a little pixelated around the edges, but that's kind of how cellular <laughs> signal works yeah. is 
on the fringes off. of a tower or where the, the carrier is claiming they have coverage, well, the signal gets iffy. Yeah. And in those edge cases, you tend to need cellular enhancing gear anyway right. to get the signal and enhance it up to the speeds that the carrier is claiming. Yeah. And then the one really unique thing about coverage is it actually lets you combine and create a personal coverage map. So we travel at the moment, AT&T and Verizon are prime carriers, and we only really care about LTE data. So we have our coverage map set up to be AT&T and Verizon, LTE only, and we get a combined map that shows just that. And then we'll also check, because we do carry Sprint and T-Mobile <laughs> on board for testing purposes, so we'll also check them. So if we're going out and doing signal testing, we'll check for those. So you can create your own personal coverage map, you can search for locations that you're considering, um, you can zoom in and we just launched a brand new version of coverage that allows you just to, to subscribe to even higher resolution maps and use satellite maps in As the background, background. so mm -hmm. that can help look for things like building or terrain issues that you might encounter with your signal <sighs> so and the big news is Coverage is now available for oh oh Android yeah it's fine. <laughs> for years seven years we've been getting when's the Android version coming out every week and now finally there's an Android version go get it <laughs> <laughs> so just to recap check your carriers coverage maps check campground reviews to see how other people have experienced cellular coverage at the area you're considering going to uh, check some of the open source apps like uh, sensor oh, yeah, and open crowdsource signal. maps yes and then coverage is a, a we think is an indispensable tool for us travelers yes. in trying to and it's all part of it you, no one is yeah, one, the, this is a solution. collection of tools. Use them together, and this is how you can can go with confidence and knowing that hey, I'm heading here, and I've got pretty good odds of getting online. And for you boaters out there, you might have noticed we're on a boat right now. It works on it the water works too. It works for coastal cruising too. It's all the same tips. Just use Active Captain instead of Camp India. Yep. Cool. <laughs> all right. Take care. See you next time.